so I just got back from a walk. It is Tuesday. I have not been reading, watching YouTube, watching TV, watching movies, going on social media for two days now. <laughs> Today is day three. I am never without having something playing. So this has been very challenging for me, but it's only day three. So we'll see how the rest of this week goes. Eee. Alexa, play OMG by New I am currently um, doing this thing where I write three pages every morning, kind of like stream of consciousness journaling, I guess. Um, it's part of this 12-week program that I'm following from a book called The Artist's Way. So I do that every morning. Um, now I need to get to work. This is gross. I have four hours of meetings. Look at it. He's so cute. If my hair is done-ish and I have these glasses on, I, I feel like I look put together. Okay, great. myself a weird hodgepodge of food because I have not had time to cook this week. So the book that I'm reading, The Artist's Way, you're kind of like prompted to do different things each week and that's what brought on the No Media Week. It's easier I think for me to do like all or nothing um, rather than like letting myself scroll for five minutes. I have a weird habit. I don't think it's actually that weird. I think a lot of people do this where I have to be watching something while I eat. I'm like what do I do when I'm eating? Like just eat and the answer is yes like all i need to do is eat but it just feels weird so i'm hoping that in some way not consuming media for a week helps my art in some way is anyone else like this it's 1 30 p.m and i have that much coffee left and still haven't put away my breakfast so just me there's something about presenting in virtual meetings that makes my whole body like hot <sighs> but now i'm done with work i have like no brain cells left by this time of day seeing me work on the commission that I was working on all week. This was like my main art project for the week. I don't have a lot of free time so I right now I'm only accepting commissions from some friends that I know already. So I wanted to talk a little bit about the no media week that I'm doing. I think the book was written in the 90s, so it was talking about having no reading or TV or movies for the week, but I kind of expanded it to include social media as well. It was pretty interesting to see like what forms of media I like wholeheartedly missed. Like I really missed YouTube videos. I feel like YouTube videos are a big source of inspiration for me and information honestly like I feel like I learn a lot from YouTube and not having it for a whole week was a little bit sad I definitely miss YouTube the most I really didn't miss scrolling on Instagram or TikTok that much I think it helped that I let myself post on there still so I was still interacting on Instagram a lot with people 
this week was actually kind of crazy because I had one of my older vlogs randomly get a lot of views in like a really short amount of time and I actually hit a thousand subscribers this week. I'm just so grateful that anyone would take the time of day to watch my video or to comment or like it. I really can't even believe that I have over a thousand subscribers already. Like, it's just wild and I am so, so grateful and I'm so, so excited to keep making videos. So yeah, stay tuned. My dance job actually is seasonal. So when the NBA season ends, it also ends and I will have a lot more time to make videos come this spring. And yeah, you're about to see me come home from rehearsal very tired, so please enjoy that. So much stuff. A costume, prop, and now I'm very tired. Sun in my apartment. This is amazing. Time to get ready. Hi. So I am getting ready for the game now. I have a NBA game to dance at today. That is my other job outside of my day job. I posted a vlog not too long ago and I got a lot of comments saying like, I can't believe you do so many jobs and also make time for art. Like, how do you do that? <laughs> and the answer is that sometimes I don't know. My dance job definitely fluctuates in terms of hours. I would say most weeks, it's like a 20 hour a week type deal. I do take PTO from my day job for my dance job. Sometimes like today, I just take a half day at my day job so that I can have um, a little bit more of a normal like amount of work in a day, but I definitely do burn out. I have to be a little bit gentler with myself in terms of forgiving myself for not being perfect at all three, all at the same time. The organization I work for, we do have a very flexible PTO policy, which I think if I didn't have, honestly, I would not be able to do my dance job along with a day job, along with art, along with YouTube. Usually my definition of like rest involves something that is at the end of the day productive. The only thing that I do regularly that is like restorative and also not productive, I would say, is playing video games. But the thing with video games is that like, I really like tune out and like disconnect from reality. I go through times where I am like questioning everything I've ever done to get myself in this predicament where I'm working two jobs. These eyelashes are really crazy. I have to be there in like an hour. So time to run around my apartment and get all my stuff together. It's 25 degrees. Yikes. That's cold. I need to log off of work. Okay. Cool. And this bag. And then I need you. We're off. It's so sunny and bright. The birds are chirping. It is Saturday and I'm sitting down to eat some breakfast. Got my coffee. I'm just gonna have a cozy little morning. Later, I am hoping to do a little artist date with myself. It's another thing that comes from this book to get in touch with your inner artist. Um, and they have you do a weekly artist date, going somewhere, doing something, experiencing something. I'm definitely feeling pretty tired, but today is my one day off of both my jobs. I'm going to try to make all of my tasks still relaxing. Big announcement. 
I finished my commission. Ah, let me show you. I'm a little bit nervous to show them because I'm just not like 100% confident that I nailed their faces. But I think that is just me being a little bit picky. This is my outfit. Wait, let me. Cute. Let's go look at some plants. big thank you for watching till the end you rock and until next time have a good one